Today, we're actually going to do something fun. I need to take two rooms and make them one. And I've brought some helpers with me this time. You guys are silly. I can't show you my famous Tootsie Roll. You should be proud because I don't show a lot of people that. So we're down here at the gym and before we get on the fun stuff, there's some other things that we need to do, but let me show you what we're going to be doing in this fun. So come through here. This is the room that is two, which will become one. Yay! But we need to clean up this space a little bit. And all of the stuff that's right here on this wall, go ahead and look at this wall. Now this drywall needs to be hung up there. And then... oh, yes, there's a lot of juggling and shifting stuff around when you're working in a tight space with a lot of stuff. So first, let's do some owner stuff, paperwork, and get that done. Lots of stuff that needs to be done behind the scenes that you just never even think about. And a lot of it is just boring stuff. When you're working with drywall, there's a really easy way to cut it. You don't have to actually cut it with a saw. What you need to do is have a good sharp knife. To get a straight edge uh, for this piece, we're just going to be using the speed square. But they sell big squares that you can go over the entire sheet with, or you can just measure both sides and use a straight edge to get your straight line. But all we need to do is get through that top layer of paper, and then you stand it up like this, and when it's a full sheet, all you have to do is pop the back. When it's a little piece like this, just pop that side and it breaks, like that. Go from the back side, Safety glasses, okay? Yes. All right, and I have pre-knocked some holes in the wall so they aren't hitting metal studs. What uh, is the name of your tool? A barbarian booty. <laughs> a bar the barbarian buoy. <laughs> safety glasses, and we have talked about safety with that knife, correct? Yes. Okay, all right, safety glasses. And what are you using? I named it Sludger. A sledgehammer. Sludger. Sledger. What? Are you ready? Yes. Yes. Are you ready? Yes. It's Fogita. <laughs> are you still ready? Yes. Fogita. There you go, keep on smacking that same spot, Barry. Yeah, there you go. Holy moly, look at these kids go. Oh, we got one coming through right over here. Oh! Oh, they're through! Oh, Keith is through! The barbarian is coming through. He's into the climbing wall. No. Oh, yeah. That's why I didn't go. Now, by no means am I showing you how to demo a wall the proper way here. I don't even know if I'm showing you the proper way to be a dad, but I know my kids have been asking for this and they had a wonderful experience, a learning experience, which we'll get into here in a minute as well. And 
it was some pretty good exercise for them. They loved it. It was some good experience for them. Now, I let them demo a good portion of the wall where it was safe for them, and then I came in and demoed the rest a little bit more safely, a little bit more proper. All right, so when we started out on this construction here, some of you may have been screaming, no, don't do it, that's not safe. Especially when my middle age son was wielding this bad boy. A barbarian booty. <laughs> I mean, definitely take your, your, take your safety into consideration, but don't be a pansy. Do stuff, right? Did you guys get hurt? Yes. Yeah. Not Some of them got hurt. Oh, well, I got scratched. Not while really using that. Yeah, nobody got hurt using this, which is good. I was very, I was very much hovering over this. But one of the things that I wasn't hovering over was the hammer, and that's what both of them that got hurt were using the hammer. Um, and are are you guys gonna survive? Yeah. Did you learn a lesson? Yeah, sort of. Sort of. All right. Well. Uh, sounds like me, Bear. So, lessons, lessons learned, move on with life, and continue. Now it's time to keep on working. We're going to go down to the dump, throw this stuff in the, in the dump, and then we'll move on to other things that we need to do. Get to go home and drop off the boys and have about 15 minutes to eat dinner and then it's back down to the gym. Now another hat that I get to wear is being a coach and I love being a coach. Right now I'm a little worn out though to be honest with all of the construction and working that I'm doing there but this is a technique that we do to teach the kids body position and body awareness without even them knowing that we're teaching it. One, two, three, come on. Now it is the next day and it is time to start getting back to work and tearing down this wall. These two rooms will become one. We're gonna tear it down, bringing down walls through some hard work, sweat, tears, lots of planning. A little bit of blood, a little bit of danger, and fun. They're together, like in marriage. And now, after these come down, it will be time to continue on, and the real work will begin in making these functional. So, stay tuned. More will be coming out in this space and what we're doing in this space. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Like, yes. subscribe, and I will see you next time right here on Climber Dad. Oh yeah, don't forget to comment down below. That really helps out as well. It's actually a pretty sad moment for me to be needing to take this desk apart. I worked on it with my sister really late at night. Just filling in and making these corners. Just beautifying it. And now it's time for it to go bye-bye. Some good memories. Father-in-law helped me. It's a family event. And now it's time for it to uh, be taken apart. It's good that it came out in one piece, too. That's pretty impressive.